Hello there again, it's the Cockney Colonel just getting ready for this uh, auction this week which will be Tuesday the 18th of August at 5 o'clock give you the full details of where we are, it's Saturday afternoon again as usual we're living down here, we've got some great stuff here this week I'm going to give you a quick blitz one round we've got a load of pictures online, we've got the old model aeroplanes and everything coming in this week and the Hummels which we're going to show you in a minute got some uh, rather cool little silver dollars something like 1922, 23, 24 and an older one about 76, something like that um, so some cool silver dollars there, full descriptions on the uh, website there. A couple of little pistols, uh, pre-1900 I believe, so little derringers, sold as is. I'm not going to say that they are fully functional in a blinding condition, but little derringers, I'm sure they'll be cool, somebody's going to like them. Nice little ring there, not a 14 karat gold with a nice little stone on the front of it. Look at that, Big Ben, it's like Big Ben, doesn't it, down in London? Like being at home it is, you know, carrying my little clock around like that. A little bit of the old uh, Made in China jadeite before it was like Made in China like it's Made in China now. It's like proper Made in China, back in the day Made in China. You know, really nice uh, little bit of jadeite and stuff there. Then these little crazy fellas, little boys and girls. The little Hummels. The old collection of them. Collection of the plates as well. Right, plates going from like 1971 or something through to 1993. Right, a couple of these little ones with old uh, little boy and girl on a swing. Happy days, having a little swing about there. These are unusual. Cup and saucers, ammos. Cup and saucer ammos. Cup and saucer ammos, that's weird, isn't it? All right, but you've got these plates, right? They're really nice, they're really cool. Got all the boxes and that, I think, around here somewhere. All right, and then uh, you've got a couple of the big old boys there with the umbrellas. Is it a boy and girl? Probably a little boy and a girl, yeah, yeah. All right, and then like, all these little uh, people. Little people. What do you do with them? You put them, put them in the cabinet and let them like play at night time. When you go to sleep, they all come alive and run around. I bet it's something like that, innit? The little hummels, little German. Yeah, look at that, little German going to school or something. Anyway, loads of them, right? Gonna try this desk again, you know? Come down, it's a really nice desk. We ain't asking too much for it. Right, really small footprint, nice. Got a couple of rugs, couple of mirrors going in. Mirror there, little round one. All right, couple of other mirrors up here. Get a bit of artwork, lovely jubbly. Right, we've got some vintage cups and saucers. Right, some of them in there and all. Right, some Thomas Kincaid Christmas ornaments. They're rather pretty, aren't they? Some uh, Bradford Exchange. So, little Christmas ornaments again, the little placards with the old certificates. And the little houses that hang on your Christmas tree as well. What's it? It's something like 19 Fridays until Christmas. 19 Fridays? Be here before we know it, wouldn't it? Little ukulele, right? Ain't got no strings, but I'm sure you could put some on there. Looks rather cool, little thing. Probably ain't a ukulele. It's some sort of guitar, but it is rather cool. Bit of glassware, a couple of big glues, some bedroom set stuff there. Nice home entertainment theatre system. All the speakers with it. The old surround sound, right? Lovely jubbly. These little horses, based on uh, one of the old uh, famous horses, Red, Red Summit, Red Summit. Made by Bray or something like that, is it? Famous make, apparently. Nice little model cars, all right? Couple of old um, commemorative uh, Air Force hats. This is rather unusual, because sometimes you don't get the plates with it. But this Thomas Kincaid, all right? What's it say there? Painter of light. Thomas Kincaid, painter of light. It's a calendar, right? So you can make it work all the time. Just change your little numbers around on there. And it's got a plate for every month. Marvellous. Little uh, trolley there for your golf clubs. Pull your golf clubs around in case you ain't got a buggy. You know, you ain't got a golf cart. A few comics here. A few comics. I think these geezers are uh, NASCAR or something like that, it looks like. Blokes on there. Some old uh, magazine things. Bit of the old uh, kitchen stuff as usual. Little toaster oven, little crock pot. Nice little set. Right, the tools. All the ratchets and stuff in there. So that's quite a nice little set. Right, spanners, what do you call them, wrenches? Yeah, I call it a spanner. It's a wrench apparently. All right, nice little sphinx. Not being, not being in Egypt, innit? Couple of the old plant pot holders for you to put your old chinky pots on. Chinese pots there. All right, some clocks. Everybody needs to know the time. All right, little lit lamps. Everybody loves Raymond. Tells me it there, right on that DVD cover. So everybody must love Raymond, because it says it there. They can't lie, can they? You know, everybody got to love him. Little cash register. If you need a little register, cheap register. Probably going to go, you know, pretty reasonable down here. 
The old Norma Rockwell classic plate collection. A couple of puppy love plates by the looks of it in there. But the old Campbell soup stuff. Right, the old goose glasses. They're rather nice. Bit of Pyrex corning. Alright, so some of the old stuff there. Some nice lamps this week. A couple of nice lamps, as always. Light up my life. Some of uh, that vintage stuff. Every week I've got vintage. Love that vintage stuff, innit? It's that Robbie who works down here. Loves that vintage. Another nice unusual lamp there. Alright, some home decor and stuff. Nice bit of flatware. Roger Brothers, that one. Bit of a uh, silver plate, probably, something like that. Alright, some of the old uh, cups and saucers again. Guys don't even drink cups and tea, and we've got all these cups and saucers everywhere. All right, very old chintzy stuff, the old stuff. Home mark, right, that's an old sewing machine. And some of the uh, older 1967 Indiana and some other stuff there, the old license plates. The Royal Academy typewriter, just in case you want to write a real letter, not do an email, you know. And then we've got a bit of the old silver plate and other stuff there, just give you a little run along. A couple of uh, whiskey decanters. Clans are back this week. Got some clans in here. People seem to love their old clans. These are like proper old ones, these look like. Here, look at that. Yeah, it's hiding. I think I might have to have a little bid on that. Because I ain't got no hair, see, because I keep shaving it off. So that might look good on me, that syrup. Alright, put the old syrup of fig on my on my bonds. Alright. Be looking like like the geezer, won't I? Eco eater, right? Warm, never felt so good. Tells me there in the box. Alright, model. 110 400, it's a 400 watt electric whole room space heater. I mean, it's like freezing outside, isn't it? So, you probably better come down here and get that. The old Pictionary, collector's edition, a bit of a scrabble back there. Some Bell South walkie talkies. The old cabbage patch, six of them. Spooky little things, them are. Like little babies, like you know. Got All of them have got the birth certificates, all in the original boxes. They're all different. Are they all different anyway? I think is that the idea of them, is it? They're all di oh, one of a kind, it tells me. I should know that, shouldn't I? Here, look at this. Humpty Dumpty, right? We've got Humpty Dumpty brothers, and we've got Humpty Dumpties as well, right? Humpty Dumpty things with the things on their head. Don't know what they are. Boxes of them, right? Little Humpty Dumpties. Fish finder, 460. Find your fish. Every week we've got a fish finder. People like finding fish, apparently. Little bit of the old, uh, old Furby geezer, look at that. Little Furby in a box, happy days. Meh. Bit of that stuff, yarn. Oh, full draft, man. Tons of it. Brand drip, right? People collected this for years, years and years, like 30 or 40 years, right? Really nice. They're like original full draft pattern, brand drip. All right, tons of it. Tons of it, right? Keeps on going, right? There's loads of it. Shame is they're moving. Got to get rid of it. Got to sell it, come down, buy it, come and get it. Another full scraft pattern there, setting for like 12 or something there. All right, so ton of full scraft. All right, got to go. Gonna show you up here, Jolly Trolleys are chocker blocker this week. All right, the old Jolly Trolleys are overloaded. Look, they're like bending where they're so heavy. All right, there's so much stuff on them Jolly Trolleys that it's just gonna have to blitz it all out, get rid of it all. You know, start at two bucks, see where we go. Anything left, we just get rid of all of it. Loads on there. Tons and tons of stuff for you to come and get. Now, let me tell you, I've got some really cool rocker chairs, right? They're oak, but they've been water treated, and the geezer tells me they're splinter proof as well, right? So I've been carrying them around, I ain't got no splinters, so he said, no, no, you can't get a splinter off of that, been treated, and it's been water treated, so that's water treated oak, he tells me. So that means that it can stay outside. So that's rather good, isn't it? It's rather marvellous. They're like heavy duty things, so they're really nice. All right, really nice. Palm print bamboo sofa with a little matching rocker. Right? Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. you. Might not be able to see it on the video, but it's faded, right? The pattern on the cushions is faded where the people have had it out in the lanai. Indoors, right? But the sun's obviously come through and faded it. But I tell you what, that frame, the whole thing, the cushions, it's all pucker. It's all in really nice condition, really nice. So if you know a little seamstress, look at like, you know, just give you a little recover on the cushions. They are good to go, hot to trot, as we say. All right, so they're really cool. Now I'm gonna take you in and show you the model aeroplanes that are coming this week. I suppose I better turn the lights on so we can see what we're doing. 
but let's have a little butcher's over here. Hello, Lainey, what you doing? Having a lay around as usual. Lazy little mare she is. Right, listen, planes. Most of these are die cast, okay? There's a nice Trans World airline. A little uh, cool French looking thing there. Resu, Ariane, Mondial, in France. Everybody loves the French, don't they, eh? Shoot. Anyway, right, some really cool, these die cast and some wooden ones as well. Right, these model aeroplanes, got loads of them. All right, we're gonna be starting the model aeroplanes after the main auction, all right? So we'll start this at around about seven o'clock. All right, so anybody that wants to come down and be just on the model aeroplanes, get down here, about half past six or something like that. You know, you can come to the main auction as well. We're glad to have you. You know, there's tons of treasure in there. I'm sure you're gonna want. All right, but we'll start this at about seven o'clock. All right, so we'll do it separately on its own. So we can just have people that are just interested in bidding on the little uh, model airplanes there. That's a really cool Lockheed, that one, the old put put Maru. All right, some really nice biplanes. The old Shuttle uh, Columbia, Air Force One. All right, lots of these, really nice. All right. So some really cool modern ones as well, the old jet planes. Alright, so a nice one, nice mahogany one there, that looks rather cool. Alright, so all, all the die cast ones there. Alright, and then we've got some of the uh, die cast, more sort of commercial airline stuff. So put them on their own over there. Some of the old, more traditional sort of uh, plastic model aeroplanes. Um, so just some of the plastic ones there that we'll do. Um, and I think some of it's just a few plastic ones. There's not really many plastic ones at all. All right, so most of them are the die cast. As I say, we'll be starting this at about seven o'clock on Tuesday. The main auction will start at five o'clock on Tuesday, the 18th of August. Preview will be from four o'clock. All right, we are at 400 East Gulf Atlantic Highway, which is basically State Road 44 at the junction with 301 there in Wildwood. So come down on Tuesday, come along from four o'clock, make sure you register, come and have a preview. The main auction will start at five o'clock and then we'll do the model aeroplanes at about seven o'clock on Tuesday. Bring your money, spend it all.